a lot of people don't realize that this stuff is still going on today, right in front of you, all around you every day. And you need to wake up to what's really going on. A lot of you are focused on politics. A lot of you are focused on the economy. A lot of you are focused on all the distractions that they have erected to lock you into fear. Okay, you need to understand something about fear. That fear is, is not an emotion. It's a spiritual force which is invoked upon you to lock you into bondage. Okay? Ceremonial magic and sorcery is what I want to <clears throat> kind of get into right now. And if you don't know what that is, ceremonial magic is the ancient art of invoking and controlling spirits by a scientific application of a certain formula. Ceremonial magic is the ancient art of invoking and controlling spirits by a scientific application of a certain formula. A magician enveloped in a sanctified vestments and carrying a wand inscribed with hieroglyphic figures could by the power vested in certain words and symbols control the invisible inhabitants of the, of the elements of the astral world. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty intense stuff right there if you think about it if people are out there and they don't think that the spirit realm is, is real then you are beyond blind okay <clears throat> yes we live in a western society but these are the things that they don't want you to know so they can keep you locked in the, in the grid so they can keep you uh, going as a piston in the machine So, while the elaborate ceremonial magic of antiquity was not necessarily evil, right, there rose from its perversion several false schools of black magic. Uh, Egypt, which was a great center of learning and the, and the birthplace of many arts and sciences, furnished an ideal environment for transcendental uh, experimentation. Here the black magicians of Atlantis, Atlantis continue to exercise their superhuman powers until they had completely undermined it and corrupted the morals of the primitive mysteries by establishing a <coughs> saucer dotal caste. They asserted the position formerly occupied by the initiates and seized the reins of spiritual government. Thus, black magic dictated the state religion and paralyzed the intellectual and spiritual activities of the individual by demanding his complete unhesitating acquiescence in the dogma formulated by the priestcraft. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So the pharaoh became a puppet, right, in the hands of the Scarlet Council. A committee of, of arch sorcerers, arch sorcerers elevated to power by the priesthood. Okay, that's still what's going on today. And this is kind of a recap on my decrypting cryptography video. But this is something that, that, that you people need to realize. If it is speaking to you, and you do want to know these things, and keep listening. <clears throat> these sorcerers began the systematic destruction of all keys to the ancient wisdom so that none might have access to the knowledge necessary to reach Adam's ship without first becoming one of their order. They mutilated the rituals of the mysteries while professing to preserve them. Hmm. Sounds like my religious experience. For God's sake, I was out with a youth pastor for four or six years in a Pentecostal Christian church and and I'll tell you, man, I, I've never seen so much sorcery in my life. It's right there. It's the seat of Satan masking itself as something that, that is righteous and uh, to invoke life. But it's not. It's not. And this is why I also taught the people that, that, <clears throat> that I was teaching when I was there. Anyways, 
Uh, the sorcerers began the systematic destruction of all keys to the ancient wisdom so that none might have access to, access to the knowledge necessary. They mutilated the rituals and the mysteries while professing to preserve them so that even though the neophyte passed through the degrees, he might not secure the knowledge to which he was entitled. Then, check this out. Idolatry was introduced by encouraging the worship of images which in the beginning uh, the wise had erected solely for for uh, for study and meditation. Okay, right here you got the bathroom. You got the bathroom right here. Now, I'm not for any of this shit, but you people need to know your enemy. That is if you're on the side of truth. <clears throat> Anyways, the images from from in the beginning of the wise had erected solely as symbols for study and meditation. So you think about the cross. You think you think you, you look at all the religions around you. You look at Christianity, especially, and how how Jesus has been deified into a symbol, a cross, a a painting on the wall. God God has been 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 made into into a a corruptible image to be to be worshipped. Right? So false interpretations were given to the emblems and figures of the mysteries and elaborate theologies were created to confuse the minds of their devotees. Wake up. The masses deprived of their birthright and understanding and groveling in ignorance eventually became abject slaves to the spiritual impostors. Superstition universally prevailed and black magicians completely dominated national affairs. With the result that humanity still suffers of the priestcrafts of Atlantis and Egypt. So we're still today under the same black magic spell that has been cast over humanity that has been cast over you yeah I'm talking to you this, this is serious okay now I don't I don't fucking make videos but this is something that I need to talk about so fully convinced that the scripture sanctioned it numerous medieval Kabbalists devoted their lives to the practice of ceremonial magic the transcendentalism of the Kabbalists is found upon the ancient and magical formula of King Solomon. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not even going to get into Solomon. Who has long been considered by the Jews as the prince of ceremonial magicians. Among the Kabbalists of the Middle Ages were a number of black magicians who strayed from the noble concepts of the Sefer Yetzirah. Now, if you don't know what the Sefer Yetzirah is, go check it out. I don't even have enough time to get into that. And became enmeshed in demonism and witchcraft. So, so they, so they left the concepts of the Sefer Yetzirah, and then they enmeshed themselves in demonism and witchcraft, which, without the assistance of complicated rituals or Submundane creatures unfailingly, bring, unfailingly brings man to the state of true individual completion. Those who sought to control elemental spirits through ceremonial magic did so largely with the hope of securing from the invisible worlds either rare knowledge or supernatural power. Okay, and, that, and that's why people get into the occult because they want power. Okay, there's no other reason for it. That's why I did it, and I'm lucky I got out, I should be dead, I shouldn't even be talking to you guys right now. So those who sought to control elemental spirits through ceremonial magic did so lar largely with the hope of securing from the invisible worlds either rare knowledge or supernatural power. Are examples of the disastrous results of permeating elemental beings to dictate the course of human procedure. And you gotta, you gotta fucking understand. That that is why the world is the way that it is, because it is under the dictate of demonic spirits. Your governments, your your yeah, I can get on governments, but but the thing is, is that they 
All the government is, is, is nothing more than puppets. So the Pharaoh became a puppet, right? In the hands of the Scarlet Council, a committee of arc sorcerers, arch sorcerers elevated to power by the priesthood. Okay, that's still what's going on. You get the corporate corporatism and you know and, and a democratic dictatorship and, and, and all that. Okay, but you need to see that all of that is, is, is distracting you from the root of mystery, Babylon, which is sorcery, which is black magic. 